Hey there, Scorpio. This is Kim here to do your reading for you for the next 48 hours. So I hope you're doing really good. Thanks for joining me. Um, this is the Crown Manifestation Affirmations mixed with Gaia Revealed. And then we're going to get into your tarot reading. It is general. I allow any messages that really want to come through to come through. And there's lots of different types because I use different types of decks. Return to Gaia. Return to Gaia 33. All right. <clears throat> 33, return to Gaia. Um, a return to the knowing of the indigenous, where Gaia has a face and a personality. Allow yourself to receive the alliance with Gaia that exists for you and deepen your connection with the planet. Exist and love God. My goal and life purpose is simply to exist and love God. The love of God creates passion and purpose within my life and enhanced relationships. I share a deep and loving relationship with myself, my ancestors, humanity, and Gaia. All of my relationships are enhanced by a deep and loving relationship that I share with God. There we go. Higher power. Connection of source. This is the opposition's tarot, so it's the one you know, that has both sides. Ace of Wands on the bottom. Okay. Poor Scorpio. What's the energy of the issue? What's the issue for Scorpios? Okay, so we're wanting to stop something. We're wanting to give up on something. Or I don't know if it's give up, but it may be taking time out to feel, well, exhausted. Like you may feel exhausted. So you might be thinking about quitting something, okay? Um, the challenge, what's the challenge? Or, or getting tired of something. Okay, uh, knowledge or information, that would be the challenge. So doing, you need to do your research and get a little bit more information What's at the root of this? There could be also just um, you getting lots of different opinions. Um, and there could be something of those energies attaching to you, making you feel like giving up. So maybe this energy is like, I feel like giving up. Maybe it's not giving up, but I feel like giving up. All in divine timing, especially with it being like this. I mean, that's balance. And, and this is making impossible things balance out with the temperance energy. I like that. Making the impossible possible. Um, it also sometimes can be relating to like relationships in your life. If they're like, if you're struggling, um, or having, uh, you know, complex issues within a relationship might be talking about those dynamics getting better with divine timing. So don't feel discouraged because I do feel like this energy is mainly like a discourage. So encouragement is what I'm trying to go for with you. Encourage you. Queen of Wands, bold and daring. Bold and daring. Um, I feel like making your, you know, sharing your talents, sharing your gifts and your talents with others. Um, inspiring to others. Feminine energy is all about sharing her talents and her gifts with her. Oh, they got the sun. There's the, some more energy then. Underlying this king of wands is, um, well, this usually Leo energy. Um, it's about what you're building and it's looking extremely good, especially with the sun up here. So I'm gonna put that up there, king of wands. That's nice. What you're building is going to be very, 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 very successful. Right now, the only issue that you're looking at is how to proceed um, with action. Like what action to take next. And the future energy. 
So guys, if you want to build whatever this is, I would say don't give up. Don't give up. Oh, <laughs> sudden disruption, tower moment, tower moment. But this is a rebuilding of the tower because it's obviously kind of gone. Three of wands, it's like in the reverse. So after, after it's something that you didn't see. You're caught off guard by this tower moment and you're not wanting to let go of possessions and things like that. So belief in scarcity is what needs to be released. It's what needs to be surrendered here. Um, you can always ask, your, just ask your spirit guides and your angels to help you release any attachments, any and all attachments. Okay, so, ooh, rough reading, guys. This is about rebuilding. This is about stability, but it's also about you needing to look inside and find some passion. Where's the passion? Where is that going? How do you feel? Like you're waiting on news, you're not too happy though. Not too happy. You want to flee from a situation that doesn't seem to be working. You feel like there's no good news gonna come in. I mean, I'll be honest with your, with the way you're feeling, is really um, just down, really down, and wanting to give up, feeling uninspired. <sighs> Scorpio wanting to walk away. God. <laughs> About a hard reading. Okay, let's keep going in your environment. In your environment. There's the wheel. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, there's the wheel. And there's a ten of swords in the reverse. It's the rebirth of you. Um, after this, I've truly got to say that because of this, something better is on its way and something is churning for you. Um, when, when the wheel shows up, especially if it shows up in your reading, you already know one, that spirit trying to get you the message that, hey, everything's going to be all right. You're in for a new cycle. There's a new cycle here. Um, new cycles new cycle there's a completion you built something you did it so what are we letting go of what are we letting go of Okay, well, anyway, yeah, good luck is coming. Good luck is coming. We're going to pull um, Oracle cards after this because we're going to see. It's such a hard reading that I, I feel like we probably need a lot of <laughs> different um, sources to get our messages from. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Scorpio, what's the hope and fear? Mm. The Crossroads. That's a good card. Um, on the bottom, three cups in reverse, possible like third party situation there. Um, but I think that that's just a fear. The lovers here is usually, if it's like in this position, it's about making a really big choice at a crossroads and um, doing so wisely, like a good decision. Good decision. Outcome for Scorpios. Oh, anger at this, at this tower. Whatever this tower is that comes down, guys. Oh, God. It's going to make you mad. You need more information. You need more information. Let's get another card for the outcome. There's your victory. 
so even though even though the king of cups is in the reverse meaning you may feel vengeful doesn't he look kind of like i'll get revenge like maybe that might be gossip. I was thinking of gossip earlier. You're going to have your victory. Remember, you're a high vibration and whatever you're vibrating at, you know, you're the light and the darkness can't touch. And that is, I'm going to say this, as long as you are making sure you're watching out that you're manifesting from the light and, and when you, uh, you know, accidentally create dark things, then you will know because you will see it. You will see it in your environment. Um, so try to watch with the thinking. Try to control reaction and, and take time to actually come up with a response first. And I, yeah, I'm going to draw some other cards. Hard reading, but I mean, a new cycle, a new turn. It, it may be a new relationship for some. It's not for everybody, but I mean, it's definitely headed towards that enhanced relationships hmm let's get one of these all right scorpio this is the playlist playlist Okay, set your intentions. Set your intentions. Be crystal clear with your intentions. It says, picture perfect. You don't need a filter. Gorgeous. Make them drop dead. You're a killer. Shower you with all my attention. Yeah, these are my intentions. Stay in the, stayed in the kitchen. Cooking up. Got your own bread. Heart full of equity or asset. Make sure. You, yeah, good intentions. Oh, Cindy Lopper. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. It's hard not to sing this one to you. <laughs> if you're lost and you look, you will find me time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting time after time. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting time after time. And it's like, dash your angels. <laughs> I mean, that's funny. Or your higher self, right? What is that? Time is up for someone. Time, not you all. Um, I, usually the way I read that is somebody took too long like on a commitment, but I'm not sure if that's yours. Let's get to shuffling. This is the Epiphany deck combined with sacred signs and symbols. And it's a good deck to pull for you all because of your serious reading donkey reluctant stubborn chameleon camouflage incognito adaption being flexible no more bad decisions nice no more bad decisions twin flame union approaching if you're lost, you can look and you'll find me time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I'll be waiting time after time. Flashlight, clarity, discovery, investigation. <clears throat> Chocolate cupcake, a tasty treat, an unexpected surprise. Not your typical love story. These scars, wounds run deep. A reconciliation is coming. Past is in the past. Don't look back. You are my lifeline. I can't lose you. Letter in a bottle, unspoken words, and love notes. Unspoken words and love notes. All right. So that's that part. Let's get something from the Lover's Oracle next. Next.
soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. My beloved. Ooh, past is in the past. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will transform. It truly will. It will automatically transform. All right. And um, surrender to what is like wanted to stick for some reason. Uh, flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. Same, same message there. And for Cryon, belonging to the Creator, always with God, right place, right time, rewrite the past. Rewrite the past. Now, where's my book? There's my book. Okay. All right. So, rewrite the past. Rewrite the past. It says past actions in 3D cannot be changed, but the memories of them can. Therefore, if you rewrite your reaction to something that happened in the past, it will change you in the present. Belonging to the Creator. You are timeless and forever and you belong to the central source. You belong to the creator. This belonging is forever and absolute. God is inside, and everything we see belongs to the same creator that is inside us. Always with God. Always with God. You are part of a very large group that is what you call God, the creative source. When you get to earth, a piece of you separates out and becomes co co corporeal. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I can't pronounce it. It has one body and one face, and this is how you see things. But the rest of you, which is still you, always stays with God. Right time, right place is the card that just by chance would suggest that maybe you are in the right time, in the right space. And all it has to do now is get your acceptance and then things can change. All right. Thanks. Sunday, your love and light.